Dr. Jamie Wells, and I am excited that we are launching at Drexel Biomed the nation's first pediatric engineering program. And the most is thrilling experience is that I'm standing with Dr. Shinjin Lang Chen, who is a pediatric neurosurgeon, who is the director of the trauma center at Children's Hospital Philadelphia, or CHOP. And when we invited her to be a distinguished speaker, she responded with great enthusiasm. Why was that? I think that um, pediatric neurosurgery actually gets not a very good name in the field of neurosurgery. And so I love to kind of promote any, uh, any kind of pediatric neurosurgery that I can. Um, I think that kids, the reason I went into it is because, um, no offense, but adults got kind of on the down slope. <laughs> and I think kids are always on the up slope. So, um, but basically every industry is really geared towards adults. So in neurosurgery, even the instruments, you know, might not fit a kid. Um, the, all the studies, even in traumatic brain injury, everything like that is basically all adults. And there's really no um, kid-driven studies very well. And people don't really talk about it that much. So I just like to bring more awareness to these things because um, I feel like that's a very important, important part of our future. Well, I'm so excited to hear you say that because one of the reasons we're spearheading this program is that everything has been tailor-made to fit children from the adult world in terms of devices, therapeutics. Right. And we have recognized that there's a seismic shift. The market has changed and is growing in terms of recognizing that's an old way of thinking and just not going to benefit the most children. So in the field of pediatric neurosurgery, why do you think the market has shifted and why? what do you think are the greatest innovations to come in unmet clinical needs of your field? That is a good question. I think that um, in general people have really tried to understand that um, kids are not little adults and that we need separate clinical trials for kids. Um, we need separate instruments specifically for like a neonatal population even. Um, you know, common things that in our field that we use in adults can't fit kids. And I think that even companies that are commercial companies have really geared to try making their products smaller so that it's not only, you know, good for the kid, but also for the parents because they'll be like, oh, well, this is a low profile thing because my baby's really tiny. Um, so I think that in general, um, commercial and academic groups have really both moved um, towards understanding that there really is needs to be a separate entity. Well, we are so thrilled you're here and can't thank you enough. And I highly encourage our audience to look up all of the publications of Dr. Chen, whether it's hydrocephalus, spine and brain injury, uh, arterial venous malformations. She is the expert and she is amazing. And we are thrilled and our students at Room Away can't wait to hear your distinguished talk.